Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Muhammad Aminul Islam. Welcome to my channel. In my previous videos, I explained how to fit various uh, adsorption kinetic models. These videos have been very popular. Therefore, in this video, I would like to show a new uh, pseudo-fast order kinetic model which can be written as ln qe minus qt equal to ln qe minus k1t or log qe minus qt equal to log qe minus k1t divided by 2.303. This video is very important, so please do not skip. Well, from this uh, equation, a plot of log qe minus qt versus t will reproduce a slope of minus k1 divided by this and intercept equal to this. From this slope, we can easily calculate k1 values. Well, in order to fit, I have taken data for time t and amount adsorbed at time t qt. Then initially you need to uh, plot these two. Here I have already done so. After plotting, you need to calculate Q value. So if you extrapolate these two y axis, then you will get Q as 9.8. So our Q is 9.8. Put it here and scroll down this. Then you need to calculate Q minus Q T. So in order to calculate this, just write equal to uh, C2 minus B2, then enter and then scroll down it. Then you need to take log of this one. So equal to log bracket start D2 bracket close, then enter and scroll down this. So here is our parameters. Now you need to select this one and control this one. Then go to insert, then go to chart, then scatter. So here is our plot. Then in order to fit linear, then select this and click on plus. Then a trend line, then go here, uh, linear and go to more option so linear trend and tick on display equation on chart and display r square value so here is our r square value and here is our equation so from this equation we see that uh, our slope is minus 0 0.0068. So putting this slope here, we can easily calculate K1. And uh, from intercept, we can also calculate log QE and then QE. So after modification, you can make it publication quality. So this is how we can easily fit C2 first order kinetic model using Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching.